Holy f Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today, me and Nemo, we got another really good game for you. This game is called The Shopping List. This is honestly one of the best short games I've played in the last year. I always try to look for games like this, somewhat of a longer short game with a nice story, very creepy vibes, and something that keeps you wanting to know more. In this game, you're a girl who moved to a new town and you're just doing some shopping for your apartment. But the catch is that you're doing it very late at night and there's been a lot of disappearances lately. Now that's all I'm going to tell you because I don't want to spoil the rest. This video was live streamed beforehand on Twitch, so if you guys ever want to come see some of my YouTube videos early, make sure to come over to the Twitch link in the description. And alright guys, let's hop right into the video. The shopping list. Let's do it. Don't trust a stranger. Heard it here first chat. Don't trust no strangers. I'm really gonna miss my hometown. I hope moving to the city will give me more opportunities in life. Ah oh, man, I almost forgot. I have to finish my shopping list before I crash at my new apartment. Gotta go shopping. The shopping list. I love the classic lightning. Damn, where am I? Oh, whoa. Press tab to check your shopping list. Press space to autoplay dialogues. Let the shopping begin. Ah, oh, I love this already. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the style. That's creative too, the lighting thing like that. All right, we need milk, shampoo, toy, chocolate, printer paper, flowers, and fresh meat. Sounds pretty easy. Hmm, honestly, I could get used to living here. I just hope these stores are open at night. Oh, we got a person over here. All right, I guess I can't talk to them. Thanks, invisible game barrier. Enter grocery store. <laughs> oh my god. This looks so good. Alright. Let's get shopping, shall we? Shopping with Marcus. Alright. Oh my god. Who wants some cinnamon toast crunch? Cheerios? Frosted Flakes? Lucky Charms? We got half an Apple Jacks box. Oh wow. They really got everything. Oh my god. Wait, I can't even go to the back of the grocery store. What the heck? Clearly I'm going the wrong way. Hey, what's going on? Oh. Is that guy dead? Why does he look like that? Wake up. Wake up, Goofy. Noel. Uh, uh, who the hell are you? <laughs> Call me immortal. <laughs> immortal? What a stupid name. Asshole. Anyways, what can I do for you? Uh, well, do you happen to know where the milk is? The milk? Yeah, it should be over by the soda and drinks corner. If not, just come back here and I'll check the supply stock. Now leave me alone and let me rest. I'm gonna tell your manager. Who are you? Wh what you doing? You're just sitting there holding musty milk? Looking kind of musty yourself. Milk out of stock. Are you serious right now, brother? Who's this? Oh! <laughs> dripped out! Wait, I'm sorry. Hey, do you work here? Toast. No, I don't. But I'm actually hoping to get a job working here. Well, how's that working out for you? I gotta give him a voice. Uh, not too good. I got fired from my previous job at the tech store. Why? Cause they replaced me with a fucking machine. I'm sorry, but come on. And now people and bleh, bleh, and now people barely even shop there because they find the whole machine thing weird. Well, anyways, I'm gonna continue to look busy so I can get this job. Good luck shopping, I guess. All right, bye. Did you just say I look like toast? Have a good night, everybody. Okay, anyway. Yo, Noel, wake up. There's no milk, bro. So did you find what you're looking for? No, goofball. The milk is out of stock. All right, no worries. I'll take a look back there for you. All right, Jordan. No, it's my milk. If they want the milk, they're gonna pay extra. All right, so you're gonna have to pay extra for the milk. Choose your payment amount. Yeah, that's right. You better give me the musty milk. Hey, I'm sorry about before. I get grumpy when I'm tired. I've barely gotten any sleep lately because of, you know, the disappearances that have been happening around here lately. Nobody told me about that. You don't know? 
Well, just take my advice and finish that shopping of yours before it gets dark. All right, bye bye now. Oh my god! Why did his head hit the? Okay. Yeah, you cry, Jordan. Sucker. All right, what else do I gotta get? Shampoo. Oh, we have to go to multiple stores. I didn't realize that. I, I like I read it before, but I didn't. I didn't. Like put that together. All right. Back to our shopping. Hey, what's good, bro? Hey, you! I'm gonna need to see some ID before I let you go down this path. It's a strict security procedure that we have to follow after this week's latest events. Now get over here and hand me your ID. Shit, I lost my ID before I came here. Uh, run. Nah, kidding, kidding. Don't, don't do that, guys. Ew. Ruben looks ugly. Hand it over. Ooh, I like this. Choose your reply. Lie, lie, or lie. What are we thinking, chat? Joe Biden. <laughs> wow, the president isn't doing so good these days, is he? I'm gonna go with lie. Uh, I left my ID in the car. Just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Uh, fine, just hurry up, will you? Also, my eyesight is really bad, so you better not do anything cheeky with the card now. Maybe you can find something that looks like an ID card in the dumpster. Ah, there's one right here. Hold E. Was that a good Biden impression? <laughs> oh wait, no, that's not funny. That's a missing person poster. There we go. Nice to meet you. ID card. I think this will work. Took you long enough. Sorry about the delay, but I got what you needed. Uh, let's take a look here. You sure this is you? It's a little blurry. They don't make them like they used to. What? Your eyes? Oh, right. No glasses. Hey, uh, you promise this is you on this card, right? Sure. Then piss off. And that's why you blind. Alright, what store are we going to next? Body shop. This building doesn't look creepy at all. Well, Examine music box. This brings me back memories. Guys, I swear to god I'm not illiterate. I'm sorry. I just go literally brain dead on stream. 1975. Oh, not. It actually brought him back. <laughs> We're back in time. He led her to his kingdom, where he was joyfully received, and they lived for a long time afterwards, happy and contented. Wow, wasn't that story so exciting, sweeting? That was very good. Haha, <laughs> you're so cute. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, mommy. I don't know why that was my baby voice. <laughs> Alright, the body shop. Here we go. <laughs> love your body. Why? Aggie, you don't look so good. <laughs> oh my god, like, hi. Welcome to, like, the body shop or whatever. How can I help you? Hi, well, I just need some ordinary shampoo. Anything is fine, really. Anything? Uh, yeah. Great. We only have three shampoos left, which is superb since you'll have any shampoo, right? Yeah. Oh my god, great. No one has bought them in like two years or something. Don't know why I think they are great. You can choose between Gust, Oh Greasy, Gramps, Scott's Saucy Shampoo the Poo, and Basic Strawberry Shampoo. Guys, which one? Which one? Hold on, I'll have you guys vote. Okay. Type whatever number in chat for whichever one you want. One is Gusto Greasy Gramps, two is Scott's Saucy Shamo the Poo, and three is Basic Strawberry Shampoo. We got a tie between two and three right now. All right, three has one. Yeah, I really do this on purpose. And now nobody's gonna vote, right? Saucy Shamo the Poo. Ah, Scott's Saucy Shamo the Poo, great choice. Hmm, you seem unsure of buying it. All right, you could try it out for free in the public shower that we have in the back. That's so weird. Come back here after you're done. Bye. All right, why is that a thing? They Do they have this in body shops where you could try the shampoo in the shower in the back? Check for cameras, true. Check for anybody else. Damn, there's like no privacy either. I'm just gonna get naked here. Try out Scott's Saucy Shambo the Poo. Do not show booba. This shampoo smells like shit, but in a good way. I never felt this dirty while taking a shower before. 
but I've already committed to this one. I guess this is what I'll smell like the next couple of weeks. Okay, that was weird. So, what you think? Are you gonna buy it? Uh, I guess so. Finally! I mean, great. That'll be $10. Thank you for your purchase. I'm surprised that you're out shopping this late. We barely get any customers at this time of the day because of the disappearances. The only ones that have been here today are you and some creep that looked at me through the glass window while you were showering. Meh, that doesn't matter really. Just be careful out there. For me, it's not safe being out at this time. All right, cool. So there's a creepy guy outside. Good to know. I knew this couldn't stay normal that long. There's no way we're gonna get everything on this list. All right. Oh no, the street lights are stopped. Uh, this is not good. I'm gonna get abducted. Timmy's Toys. Damn, why did the toy shop look like a murder shack? The whole color palette of the game changed. Amusements. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, hey. Oh, how can I help you? Well, I was looking for something cute to put in my new apartment. You got any toy or stuffed animals you could recommend? I'd also like a chocolate bar. Chocolate? Hmm. Let me take a look in the boxes. Meanwhile, you could do something for me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I don't think I can. If you want my help, you better help me back. Times have been busy lately. All right, what do you want me to do? You know that amusement sign by the entrance? It's supposed to be glowing, but the wires are all messed up. So I want you to check them out. Fine. Guys, no. Obviously, you would never ever help someone do this. This is sus. Oh my god. Wait, this is kind of cool. Is it supposed to go through here? But I can't move. I can't move this or the piece. Oh. Okay, never mind. All right. Wow. You actually managed to rewire it. Yeah. Well, a deal is a deal. Here's your stuff. Thanks. Hey, I have a quick question. Everyone I've talked to today has warned me about the dangers of being out at this time. Is it really that dangerous for me to be out right now? Don't listen to them. People don't like when new people come into this town, so they just want to scare them away with the usual reason. There's a killer on the loose, blah, blah, blah. It's a proper bullshit. Just ignore them and move on. All right, bye now. All right, clearly, this man is the guy abducting people. Clearly. Dude, it's super sus. Can, I wish I had the option to go back home. All right, print your paper from the tech store. Okay, next door. Or, wait, no. There's something on the table here. A rose? This brings back memories. 1979. It is, uh, 9.31 right now. Oh my god, Mom. I'm gonna miss you. I love you, Mom. Well, that was sad. The tech store should be close by. I have a feeling it's not. This is literally where you would go if you wanted to be abducted at night. JK, tech store's right there. R.A.P. Uh, what the? This is a robot? Hello, Carl. Okay, Carl. Printer paper ordered. Order complete. Pay at the cash register. Oh. Okay, Carl. Alright. Can I just steal something? Would Carl ever know? Alright. On to the next door. 
the bo bo botanist botan botan how do you pronounce that botanist botanist flowers who are we getting flowers for this is sketchy I can't open my shopping list anymore. Nice to meet you. Nah, there was someone right here. Oh, and I have to go that way? Oh, damn. Yeah, I can't take out my shopping list. Something bad's about to happen. Hopefully there's an employee in the next door and then I can just chill with them. Unless we don't make it to the next door. Just follow the lamps. Gucci! <laughs> Fuck. Duck. Ashton Garcia, reward $1,200. Please find my little boy. It's so sad. This place seems off. No shit, immortal. Closed road. Yeah, hell nah. Jump over that. That car is gonna turn on and follow me, isn't it? Oh, I'm definitely gonna die here. Oh, I knew it. I called it. I called it. I called it. Nah, you not get me today. Oh nah, they faster. Oh, they way faster. Nope, get it. Go, 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 go. The door is locked. Mildred's Marigold. It should be open. The owner's probably taking a break or something. I'll keep an eye out. Can I just steal this bike? I have a feeling this is the owner's bicycle. He must be in the store. I'll just knock, I guess. Hello? Get the fuck out of here? Damn! Hey, what's your pro- Leave my family the fuck alone. Take whatever you want. Just don't hurt us. Yo, man, I I'm not- I'm not the bad people. Please, I'm a good person. I'll just grab this rose then. Jack his bike, bro. Steal the bike. Wait, nah, come on, come on, I gotta knock again or something. Oh my god, bro. It's raining? I'll end up soaking wet before I get to the town's butcher. Wait, what's that noise? Hey, what are you doing out here in the pouring rain at this time? I could take you where you're headed. Just get in the car and I'll take you wherever. I could do with some company. Oh nah, I, I could choose to accept or not? Chat, accept yes or no? I'm seeing a lot more yeses. I guess that's fair. Hop on in. Horrible idea. Never actually do this in real life. Hey, wait a minute. Ruben! You're that goofy motherfucker from before. Oh, what's up, Ruben? Wait, how do you know my name? From your ID? <gasps> He's the cop! He's the one abducting people! Anyways, so where are you headed? I'm headed to the butcher down by the community park. Splendid! Well then, let's get a move on. Bro, he was... Why was he kinda... He was a little freaked out that I knew his name. It's just around the corner, so it'll be a short drive. Press tab to... For back dash cam viewer. Oh, nah, never mind. I thought it was Ruben, but it may not be. That's the pickup truck from before. This is a sick game mechanic, by the way. Uh, Ruben? Ruben? Bro? I think we're being tailed. Oh, he's gonna hit us. Oh, never mind. Well, here we are. Usually I charge for rides like this, but I'll spare you from payment. Anyways, I guess I'll see you around. Have a good one. Thanks, Ruben. I am kind of happy I got in the car. We probably would have been screwed if we didn't. That's one of the few, very, very few scenarios where we did the right thing there. <laughs> oh, nah, this is sus. Why is this so open? Bastard butchery. Hello, and welcome to Bastard Butchery. Don't be shy. Have a look around. We have all kinds of meat. Yes, sir. Meet me by the counter if you need make if you need help making up your mind. All right, sounds good. Wow, this this person genuinely seems nice. All right. Uh, I can smell how rotten this is through the glass. Ah, uh, that's that's not good. Hey, Reuben. I mean, Lucas. Have you made up your mind? Not really. I was hoping to ask you for your recommendation. Oh well, personally, my favorite. What the hell? Power never goes out in this area. 
I'm busy as fuck. I don't have time to replace fuses, goddammit. Hey, don't ask me to do it. I'll give you the meat for free if you go back into my storage room and replace the fuses. I love some spare ones scattered around some shelves. Yeah, sure, I could do that. No, no, immortal, bad. All right, cool. I'll wait here. Here's a flashlight. It gets dark in there. You'll need three fuses. Once that's done, you just need to flip the switch by the fuse box. Thanks for your help. <sighs> Doesn't even matter that there's free meat. This guy's gonna be turned into mincemeat by the time I come back. Come on. This is so creepy. All right, one fuse. All right, that's the box. Why is there so many doors back here? What the hell? I should check that bottle first. This brings back memories. A beer bottle? How could I ever forget? Dad, you monstrous fuck. You selfish drunk. Mom never did you any harm. Neither did I. Both you and I know mom killed herself because of you. You ruined everything, you alcoholic. I never want to see or hear from you again. I don't want to associate with you one bit. Fuck me, I even lie about my name to move on from you. Immortal? Who the fuck is that even? Rather than having to carry the name you gave me, Claire. I didn't even tell my friends my real name. I hope you rot in hell, Dad. Damn. That was brutal. Claire, our character, immortal, basically believes that our dad, our mom committed suicide because our dad was a drunk, and he must have messed things up a lot for us. Chill, chillin', nice. Holy fuck. R.I.P. Lucas. True, I still want my free meat. I have to call the police. Why is there a distance marker? The phone lost connection. What was that noise? I need to hide. Oh, it's getting close. They ran away? I have to get to my car. Where's my car? I can't stay here out in the open. I have to sneak into one of these buildings and exit through the back without making too much noise. I just have to make my way to the opposite side of the building. Come on, you know it's not gonna go that well. We saw somebody. Maybe I can find something of use in the storage room. Child's note. Dad told me to hide here in the storage room. I don't know why he's so panicked. I hope he'll be back soon. It's cold in here. Huh? That's an odd note. Oh shit. It's him. <gasps> I can't go back now. Basement? Wow, that's a horrible idea. Uh, wasn't I on the second floor? I won't question it. My 
character's walking very slow. Claire, you better hope that there's another staircase. Oh no. Bro, this is like their lair. Oh my god. I recognize these people. Are these the people from the stores? Oh no, they moved into the city to work at this company. They were the only ones that had night shifts. Now they're dead. With a toy knife left on the crime scene. Need to get the fuck out of here. I'm confused. It's a map. All right, this is the same area where I entered this town from. I never noticed the gas station on the map. My car should not be too far from the gas station. I should check if anyone's working there in the convenience store, and I might be able to get some gas for the car. I just have to follow the path up and then walk into the woods. The gas station should be on the other side. Alright. Gotcha. There should be a path I can take into the woods at the end of this walkway. This is just... Seems like a terrible idea. Why am I not running, bro? I keep waiting for someone to jump out at me. Here we are. Uh, gas station's looking kind of closed. Never mind. Hello? I need your help ASAP. Luigi? Oh, thank God. I need your help right now. There's this guy following me and I've seen dead bodies everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses there, Bucky. What's your name? Claire. Right then. What can I do for you? I need you to call the police right now. I'm being stalked by a killer as we speak. Ha! Huh, nice try there, buddy. I know that y'all people are just trying to scare us outsiders because y'all don't like newcomers in this town. This is not a fucking joke. There's literal evidence all over the place. Really? Yes. Well, if you're so confident, then prove it. What, what, what's wrong with just calling the police? Take this camera and photograph one single piece of evidence. Show me the photo when you get back. <sighs> there ain't no way, bro. There ain't no way. Wow. I think I saw a missing poster by the, si by the right sidewalk. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna have to go all the way back. She's saying like over here. Oh, there is. How is the poster evidence? Wouldn't like a dead body be evidence? Okay. Oh my god, I thought there was like a blood stain, but it's just a shadow. If this guy is dead in here right now, there's no way. Oh. Why are the lights off? Here's your evidence. I believe you, I believe you. I've called the police already. I saw him by the window. Okay. You need to leave right now. If you need anything, just grab it and get out. I need to refuel my car. Can I get a jerry can or something like that? Yeah, sure. You can fill it up by the pumps outside. Please, be careful. Damn, why can't I stay with you, bro? Because he knows the killer's after me. Yeah, seriously, Claire, what car? If we had a car, why weren't we taking that around shopping? I have to follow the path behind the gas station to get to my car. Of course. Of course it's creepily behind the gas station. Oh, is that my car? No, it's a police car. Oh my god. Wait! Is that Ruben? R.I.P. Ruben, man. This is my car. That's right, we drove in on a car at the beginning of the game. Oh no, this isn't my car. Oh yeah, it is. I forgot about that. Yeah, we did. In the intro. There's no way we get away that easy. The killer's gonna be in the backseat or something.
I can't turn around. Why is my car slowing down? Oh, my tires have been slashed. I'm really close to my apartment though, so I should be able to drive the last bit. Honestly, yeah, fuck, fuck the tires. If, as long as we could drive, like as long as the car can move, <laughs> our life is on the line. Our car could get completely destroyed for all I care. Oh, we made it back home. Let's go. Objective, make cereal. Really just gonna act like nothing happened? What a nice apartment. Huge apartment. Oh, never mind. Well, I mean, it's still pretty big. Oh, the milk I got. Musty milk. Chocolate breakfasts. True milk first? Nah, bro. Take a shower. Why did the music just slow down? Oh, don't walk in here while I'm naked. Come on. I don't want to die naked. Turn on the news. Officer Ruben has been confirmed dead. He was earlier this evening found by the gas station near Community Park with three stab wounds in the chest and two by the neck. The police have searched the area but have not found any more evidence to who could be the murderer. Go to bed. Wait, wouldn't that be such a crazy twist if I was actually the killer? And I was just like... You're just like your mother. Goodbye, Claire. Dad was never the same after the war. The PTSD got to him, made him aggressive and lose sight of reality. He didn't even realize what he was doing. His natural war instinct kicks in and he gets tunnel vision. And even after so many years, it still kicks in. It was the dad the whole time. You guys called that very early. Is there another ending if you didn't get into the car early on? That's a good question. I feel like either way we would have been like forced into the car maybe. But we could we could check. I'll, I'll try to read the comments on the page and see. But damn. Wait, what was the ending message? Based on my mother's fear of being stalked while shopping. Damn. Anything else or? Nope, that's it. Alright, so that was the shopping list. Like I said to you guys at the beginning of the video, that's one of my favorite short games that I've played in the last year. It had so much in it that made it so good. Like, I love that you were able to look at the dash cam of the car when you were in it. I like that you were able to use a camera at some points. And there were just so many little features that spiced it up and kept me interested. And also, I literally was not sure who the killer was until the absolute end. There are times when they made Ruben look sus, the gas station 
PlayStation guy looked sus. The guy at the toy store looked sus. You didn't know if they were going to try to pull a twist on you and make it like, I don't know, someone from the grocery store. Also, there were a couple things that confused me that I didn't quite understand. Like how Claire knows the people that were in the basement of the office building. That was a little bit confusing. And like a couple comments that she makes here and there. Other than that, I thought the game was great. I would have liked a couple little like extra jump scares, like maybe something jumps around a corner or like one of the nice NPCs like jump scares you as a surprise or something like that. But that's just me being picky. I absolutely love this. I also hope that you guys like the editing on this video too. I really tried to go hard. I needed a whole extra day for this one. It ended up being 33 minutes, but the full stream was like an hour of that game. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like. It really does help a lot with the algorithm and growing and stuff like that. Also, if you're new here and you're not subscribed already, please do. You can always change your mind later. Also, big shout out to my YouTube members. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are absolutely incredible. And all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.